Welcome to tutorial 7, creating apps with Xcode and Swift. This is a sh very short tutorial on how to upload your app icons, and I am using Xcode 7.1. I believe this is the same for Xcode 6, but it should be the same for Xcode 7.1 7.2. First thing you need to do is create an icon. So you can do that in Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, but the best thing to do is to create something that's 1024 pixels by 1024. And to do it as a PNG, but most programs will also accept JPEGs. So rather than resizing every single one that you need, there are a whole bunch of websites. I've used this Mac, makeapicon.com, you just dump your picture in here, then they make you email it to you. This one doesn't require an email, um, whatever that web address is up there, Icon Slayer. You dump in the image and it creates all your icons. Um, this one's okay. It definitely requires a 1024 by 1024, and I you do have to you do have to get it emailed to you, so that's kind of a pain. And then lastly, this one's pretty nice. It only accepts PNGs, but um, it just puts your icons right out. You just download them right from there. Now, most of these programs will create a, um, a zip folder, so just unzip it and then find that folder. So I just created an Apple um, and they emailed me or I downloaded all of these sizes. So in Xcode, you have your project, click on the app, the little blue rectangle there, and then in general, go down to app icons and launch images, select app icon, and then click on this very small gray circle with the white arrow. And that's going to bring up this little screen right here. So what you need to do now is drag in each of the images into the app icon. Now I find it super super annoying because they don't tell you what size you need. So if you put it in there and you get this little arrow, uh, this little uh, whatever warning symbol, you can click on it and it tells you what you need. So I need an 87 by 87. So I can go through here and find one that's that's the right one that I need, the 87 by 87. Um, so it's kind of tedious. I don't know if maybe they didn't create the right one. They, they do accept some slightly different sizes. Anyway, um, once you've done all of that, what I did to make it simpler is um, I created a little um, cheat sheet for this and I'm just going to open this up and then you can maybe pause your screen right here or screenshot this. So those are the different sizes that you need for all the different um, app sizes. So all you do is drag each of those on and then when you're done just click the folder and you can get back to working on your app. That's it. Thanks for watching.